بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this short video, I will explain Visper theory and how to use it to predict the 3D geometry of a molecule. But first, I'm going to give a brief introduction about Visper theory. So what do you know about Visper theory? The word Visper is an abbreviation for valence shell electron pair repulsion. The theory correlates between the number of valence electrons and the molecule geometry, which means that the electron clouds want to get as far away from each other as possible. And now we have a general idea about Vesper theory, but we want to know a little bit more about its history. So in 1939, the idea first was proposed by a Japanese inorganic chemist named Ryutaro Tsuchida. However, the idea was not developed into a functioning and useful theory until 1957 by two scientists, Ronald Gillespie and Ronald Nihilum. To predict the 3D structure of a molecule, you have to go through three steps. The first step is to draw the Lewis structure. The second step is to count the number of electron clouds around the central atom. Then predict the geometry. I'm going to give five examples for the most common five geometry, which are linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal bipyramidal, and finally octahedral. For linear geometry, we will use carbon dioxide molecule as an example. As you can see, carbon here is the central atom and it has two electron clouds around it. When these two electron clouds want to get as far away from each other as possible, they will create a linear molecule with an angle of 180 degrees. Molecules which have their central atom surrounded by three electron clouds, such as sulfur trioxide, will create a trigonal planar geometry. The electron clouds will try to get far away from each other, and that will lead to an angle of 120 degrees between them. If a molecule has four electron clouds around its central atom, its 3D structure will take tetrahedral geometry, which has an angle of 109.5 degrees between each two electron clouds. The fourth geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. The molecule will take this geometry if it has five electron clouds around its central atom. The resultant 3D structure will be a combination between two geometries which are perpendicular to each other. These two geometries are trigonal planar and linear. The last example of the common 3D structures is octahedral geometry. A molecule will become an octahedral if its central atom has six electron clouds around it. As these electron clouds get as far away from each other as possible, they will create 90 degrees angle between each one of them. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it.